Sure of the prize? We got a reduction on pencils this morning, Hamp. Well, that's fine, Huey. Go ahead and put it on the catalog, Vera. And have you corrected the price list from the store? Maybe putting it up now. When can you get them in? I'll order them now. They'll be in Tuesday. Okay, I'll come in then. How much are pencils? They're two cents each or four for five. I want three. That will be six cents, but they're four for five. I still want three. All right. How much did we take in this week, Phoebe? Nine forty. Oh, gee, that's swell. How much did we take in last week, Joan? You were storekeeper. Uh, seven fifty-two. Well, how much more is this week's sale than last? Jimmy! A dollar eighty-eight. Figuring in fractions, what part is a dollar eighty-eight of this week's sale? How much did we net this week? I think you two need some more work questions. 
Well, you see, Walter. I know, but I don't see why it should be this way. Well, it always has been. What's the matter, Marco? Can't you get it? Sure. 68 at 10%. But I don't see why it's 10%. But it's always 10% in the stores. Oh, no, Richard. Some stores make as high as 70%, don't they, Ham? Well, the rate of profit varies in different kinds of stores. There is no set rule about it. Then what would stores like ours make? I've got an idea, Marco. Let's go down to the village after school and find out. That's swell, Phoebe. We'd all be interested in that. Would you make a report on it? Okay. I think the rest of us better hurry up and finish our arithmetic. Our time's almost gone. You said you'd do it this morning. Why can't Marco do it? I gotta get this thing finished for my mother's birthday. Marco said he'd do it tomorrow. I'll do it for you, Yui, if you clean up shop for me. Okay. Here, Vera, will you open up this can while I sandpaper? Okay. wash away all the dirt. The little kid's platform will fall in. Well, what do I do? Oh, you better go up and ask the grounds committee.
Pep, you're in charge of the work of uh, the trench committee. That's right. I'll supervise the job down there by the children's play platform. Roddy, you're in charge of the brush. Okay, Dad. All right, get started. Where do I work? Supposing you work on the trench. Over with Alice, down there. How long do you think it will take us to divert the street? Oh, only a few days now that the parents are giving their free time and we're all working together. I have to know exactly so I can arrange to have the rest of the tile here. Oh, I see. Well, how many feet of trench have to be dug? 24 feet, I think it is. That means us. I finally got the tiles laid. How many? Only about 50 feet of them. The weekly meeting of the student council is now in order. Carl, will you please read the minutes of last week's meeting? First motion was that bulletin board be divided into parts for groups. Roger would take down material and arrange it. Unanimous vote. Nothing has been done about the ash can. It was decided that each group should help keep the walls clean for one week at a time. The soccer ball was left out and frozen. Lockers must be cleaned up. People have been taking rubbers out of other lockers, borrowing them and not asking the owners if they could. It was brought up by the grounds committee to help pay for the drain tiles to fix the erosion. It was passed that there will be a tax on the profits of all group sales it will be 10%. The staff and trustees cooperate fully with this. The meeting was adjourned. Council members were to discuss further taxes with their groups and report today. Well, they're taxing everything. My children even wanted to tax last month's cake sale. What happened, did they? 
You should have heard the arguments before they were convinced that they couldn't tax something that had happened before the rule was made. How much would they have made anyway? About 23 cents. Well, I'm glad all this business about taxes happened. It's made our study of the causes of the American Revolution a lot easier. It is timely, isn't it? Oh, it's made the whole thing much more alive. And you he's read everything in the encyclopedia on taxes. But, Hank, I think it raises other problems. I have it from the children that they're going to tax Joel's newspaper. Would they really? So they say. I wonder if he can go on publishing it. It might not be bad for him if he couldn't. Yes, but you know Joel. He's such an individualist. We have heard the opinions of all the groups except Group 5. We will now hear from Group 5. At a special meeting of the students of Group 5, it was decided that a suggestion be made to the student council to put a tax in the Independent Observer published by Joel Brown, just the same as the tax for the school paper 10%. Tax me? Why not? Private businesses are always taxed. Well, you, you can see from my books that I beg. Tax. If you tax me, there won't be any sense in putting out the tax. Order. Order. I think we should tax Joel, don't you? Sure, I think we should. But I have to pay for my paper, my stencils, and then think how much my labor's worth. Don't forget that. Mr. Chairman, Joel uses the school to make his money. He ought to contribute. Mr. Chairman. It's getting late. Let's vote now. Mr. Chairman. Yeah? Don't you think Joel ought to have another chance? Joel, haven't you anything you want to say about this before they take a vote? Well, I'd like to help with the tiles, but I, I don't know. Oh, yes, I guess it's fair. Go ahead and vote. If there's no further discussion, will somebody please make a motion to that effect? I move that Joel be tapped for his newspaper. Second the motion. All in favor? All opposed? The motion is carried. I still think it might not be bad for him. If his own paper goes, it might... Well, then the tax might give his paper a recognized status in the which it hasn't had before. I hope he can see it that way, though. Well, I think we'd better watch out for him. And I hope he doesn't take it on too personal a basis. Are you ready, Jim? Ready! All right, curtain. Hey, Phoebe, what's my lines again? We show the king we're getting to stand back. better. We'll do the final seed later. Now, you kids better get busy on your properties if you want to be ready for dress rehearsal. Hey, P, will you get me that book with the Declaration of Independence in it? I want to finish that poster. Where is it? Well, you had it last. Oh, here it is in my desk. of independence is hard to read. They use such funny writing. How come John Hancock's name is so big? Because he wants to show that he's not afraid of King George. Where's the Declaration of Independence anyway? Pennsylvania, Independence Hall. How could it be there if they took it to King George? Gee, I never thought of that. Why do you kind of object to some taxes? 
and members of his group were there. And you know that we elect two of our group to represent us in council, but that was one of the main reasons for the colonies objecting to the taxes levied by Parliament. There was no one there to represent them. They were taxes the main reason of the revolution? Well, not the only one. The merchants started a boycott against English goods. And after it was successful, it was the people themselves who wanted independence. It's one of their most active organizations of the Sons of Liberty. And Sam Adams, shortly after the Boston Massacre and the calling of the First Continental Congress, formed committee to correspond. Oh, it's Friday, election! Michael Chairman, you should be waiter. I don't want to be elected. Let Jimmy be! No, Jimmy! Jimmy is last week. Let Jimmy be storekeeper. I want to be elected. All right, Marco, you take over. Nominations are now in order for storekeeper. Don't you think everybody ought to have a chance? That's right, Imp. Walter ought to have a turn. Okay, Huey? Okay. In this election, we'll have a secret ballot. All in favor of Anne, raise their hand. Jimmy. All in favor of Walter. <laughs> 